Good afternoon. So 
was easy. <laughs> Um, oh, I went with used to. Oh, wrong again. So much for Chia going abroad. Heck, why leave Inaba? You have so much right here. You're so annoying. Yo. No more encores. I mean, hi everyone. Whoa, more losers? What do I need to know English for? I can always ask for a translator. How did you do, Senpai? I Whoa, are you that confident? Wait, confident about what again? Enough about the exams already. What's going on with the murder case? Hmm. Why don't we head to our special headquarters? We haven't been there in a while. I'm kind of bummed. Not just because exams are over, but... The whole thing with the police finding a suspect. I mean, we believe that only we could solve this case. And now? Well, we still don't know yet. They haven't made an arrest. So, we gotta sit on our thumbs. For crying out loud. It's nice to have a suspect, but where the hell is he? We're at the end of our rope here. You guys. Did, did you hear what I said? <laughs> this case is as good as solved. Don't worry, kids. It's only a matter of time before we bring in the suspect. I mean, the guy's kidnapping people at random and slaughtering them. We won't rest until we bring him to justice. I gotta get going. Now? I'm really worried. On the other hand, if the police have a search warrant out for the guy, we should stay out of it. Yeah. Oh, uh, I just remembered. There was a question on the exam that I didn't get. I think it was... The chemical formula HCHO, used for silver mirror reactions. Its 40% solution is known as formalin. And the question was, what is HCHO? chose acidic acid. Duh, of course it couldn't have been vinegar. Hey, you had that question too, didn't you, Kanji? Shut up. Don't call me by my first name. Wow, kinda harsh, aren't you? I heard you got a nosebleed when you were around our senpai. Hey! Who the hell blabbed about that? Uh, anyways, Risa-chan, why don't you ask Yukiko to help you study? Hmm? I guess, but wouldn't you rather ask a senpai of the opposite sex? Senpai, I'm not a nuisance to you, am I? Damn, this girl's dangerous. Well, let's change the subject. Hey, any idea how Teddy's doing? Oh yeah, I forgot to mention it to you. Check this out. I let him stay at my place. In return, He's now our official store mascot. Ah, so he's hiding in plain sight. Reverse psychology, huh? Man, he looks like one happy bear. He kept saying that he didn't want to go back, so I made him a deal. Now, since I've got nothing better to do, I'm gonna go bug him. Ooh, I wanna go too! Can I... 
feel his soft fur? Hey, senpai? Now that I'm getting the hang of school, I want to go out more and see the sights. But I tend to get recognized everywhere I go, so I'm a little nervous about going out on my own. And you seem like the type of guy who knows all the cool spots in town. <laughs> some time to kill think of me okay now come on let's go pester teddy teddy hey tonight we have a special report the topic is the bizarre serial murder case in inaba where the victims bodies are discovered hanging upside down Police have yet to announce any progress in the investigation since the discovery of a third victim. Our special report tonight is a summary of the events and the facts in the case thus far. They still haven't caught him? Yeah. Dad's working hard, too.
They look yummy. We've got veggies.
Let's go, Senpai. Oh, welcome home, big bro. We're finally free! Hey, why don't we go somewhere during summer vacation? My motorcycle's back from the shop! Hey, you guys have motorcycles? Lucky you! Your scooter's fixed? I'm surprised they got it back together after... Hanako senpai was it? Did something happen with Yosuke and Hanako-san? He's striking out with the ladies and got his scooter busted up. Yosuke's after Hanako-san? Uh, I'll back you up. Did something happen with Yosuke and Hanako-san? Surprised they got it back together after hanako senpai I wasn't talking about anything like that. I was saying we should go somewhere over summer vacation, like the beach. It'd be a pain to go by train, but a motorcycle. Hmm, I haven't been to the beach in a long time either. Bright sun, the glistening waves, that luscious scent drifting from nearby stands, the 
dripping of meat juices. Is food all you can think about? Hey, why don't we get our licenses too? It's just a written test, right? We can't, we're too young. Oh, sorry, Kanji, but my birthday was last month, so I'm 16 now. Hey, that's cheating! Oh, but sitting behind Senpai sounds great, too. I want to squeeze in close. Yeah, yeah, let me remind you that it's against the law to have two people ride on a motorcycle. But I think it's a good idea for you guys to get your licenses. It only takes about a week. It's supposed to be for work, but there's a scooter at the end. We got one as a gift at the office that's just sitting around. I bet I could borrow it if I asked. I'd have to call my manager, though. Huh, is this actually working out? How about you, Chie? A scooter, huh? It can be any kind, as long as it's lower than 50 cc's. Then I might be in luck. One of our relatives loves motorcycles. Maybe he has a scooter I can borrow. Wow, this might really happen. Let's all get our licenses and hit the beach together. Hold up, what about Teddy? Hmm. If he doesn't move around, he could pass his luggage. Uh, it's stretching a little. It'll be fine. If we can't get him on with one of us, we'll just strap on some wheels and tow him. <laughs> <laughs> What's so funny? Teddy? <laughs> on wheels? <laughs> Roller skates? <laughs> it's perfect! I've made up my mind. I'm gonna get my license. The beach, huh? I've gone before for pinup shoots, but it's been a while since I went for fun. Oh my gosh. Does this mean I'll get to see Reset herself in a swimsuit with my own two eyes? Can you maybe not talk about her like she's not here? Hey, who are you looking forward to seeing in a swimsuit, senpai? Oh, mine's nothing special. Crotch is thin and built for speed, so... Hold it right there! Why in the world are you interested in Kanji's swimsuit? Cut that out, damn it! Anyway, looks like we're set on going to the beach. Yukiko, Chie, you guys should get your licenses too. Then you can ride motorcycles with us. Well then, let's do this! Yeah! Huh? Oh, yeah!
You're home.
Welcome back. Okay, Risa and Teddy are checking out the other side, so we'll go ahead and start the meeting. Now about what happened last night, you guys all saw it, right? Yeah, shit he said made my blood boil. That mumbling of his and those fish-like eyes pissed me off even more. Who the hell is he? Truth to tell, I get the feeling I've seen him before. I was surprised when I saw how clearly his face showed on TV. 
so I called Chie, and while we were talking, it hit me. Maybe that boy is the culprit. It's just a hunch, but it makes sense. We've been told the suspect is a high schooler. The police are after him for the murder of King Moron. So to see that on TV last night, at a time like this? I mean, he even taunted the viewers, saying, try and catch me. Uh, so? All right, let's say there's this high school student. We'll call him Shin. For some random reason, who knows why, Shin is able to enter the other world. Then Shin, again for some random reason, starts throwing people into that world intending to kill them. The police can't prove the other world exists, so it's the perfect crime. He can't possibly be caught. Now, imagine you're Shin, but after a while, people stop dying when you throw them in the TV. You don't know why. You want to kill King Moron, but the TV is out, so you have to do it personally. Now the police are on to you. As a result, you, I mean Shin, is a wanted criminal, and there's no place for him to run. So, you're saying he went into the other world to dodge the cops? Oh, so that's why he said, catch me if you can. <laughs> wow, senpai, you're smarter than you look. Jeez, you can piss me off sometimes. We still don't know why he targeted people who were shown on TV. But if he had a personal grudge against Mr. Moraoka, that explains one thing. With a strong enough motive, wouldn't he forsake the untraceable TV method and try to kill Mr. Moraoka on his own? If you think about it that way, it sort of makes sense why Mr. Moraoka died without appearing on TV. But I wonder what that boy's going to do now that he's in there. With Teddy on this side, there's no way for him to get out. You don't think he's going to get desperate and end it all? He did look depressed, like it was the end of the world. No, I don't think that's it. The killer has to know that the people he threw into the TV have come back to this side. I can see missing Yukiko or Kanji, but Rise, a celebrity? There's no way the killer wouldn't know she's still alive. So that means he knows there's a way out of the TV world. As for the rest, we'll just have to ask him face to face. Hey, good timing. How did it go? Not good. There's not enough information to go on. But at least we're positive that someone's in there. I see. Wait, where's Teddy? He's still looking. All right. So we need to find out who that guy is. And if he is in fact the one the police are after. Once we figure that out, we just do our thing. That's right. If he really is the killer and he's escaped into the other world, the police don't have a chance of catching him. So it's all on us.
Well then, let's get digging.
welcome back. Nice work. <laughs> I'll see you again.
Big bro. Good evening. Thank <laughs> you. 
卖。Hmm, <laughs> See you again.
Yukon, let's go home. It was nice seeing you. Yeah. <laughs> 